these are the best trucks of 2017. As seen by me at the auto show, this is the Jeep Trail Cat. Lots of ground clearance down below and up above. We've got a sleeked out, modern, but classic Jeep looking Jeep that is ready for the new millennium and the, the destruction we're about to see and the apocalypse and all that with those big chunky tires, ground clearance. As long as you can find gasoline, you're ready to roll. There's a big box in the back holding the flux capacitor, uh, which will allow you to actually travel through time in this thing. And it doesn't have actual doors or a roof, but who needs those when you're looking like this, when you're uh, fronting? And then down below, testicular fortitude in spades. So next up, of course, always on the list is the Ford Raptor. This is a very sedate color and it's very mellow when it's sitting still, but this is one of the most badass off-road vehicles you can get with room for a family of five. There you go, the Ford Raptor. And next up, the Lincoln Navigator with the gull wing doors and the step ladder is absolutely badass. Who knows if they're actually gonna produce this, but if they did, Biggie Smalls would be the first buyer. And the Colorado ZR2 with a turbo diesel. Check it out. So the pre-runner fad has come into the showroom now, so you can actually get a uh, comfortable, practical, street-legal pre-runner type truck, which is this uh, Chevrolet Colorado. Colorado being the smaller truck, the Silverado is the bigger one. And if you look in the back, you can see that's the great excuse for not helping people move. They've put a big tire bracket right there in the back to hold the rear spare tire. So yeah, I'd love to help you move your bed and your furniture and stuff, but uh, I can't because of the spare tire. I'm sorry. I, I really like to help out, but uh, you know, maybe uh, call U-Haul, 1999, local uh, plus gas. I think you'll be okay with that. Maybe, uh, but sorry. And lots of extra tough, rugged bits down below to keep you safe on the trail. And in the ground clearance ultimate department is this Mercedes G550, uh, boxy as it was when the bad guys were driving it during World War II. Hasn't changed much in terms of general looks, but down below you've got all kinds of good stuff look at that so the axle goes across on top and then runs gears that go to the wheels which means you don't have a differential or anything else or drive shaft hanging down you've got pure unadulterated ground clearance which means you can rule the off-road regions with that if you're willing to take a hundred twenty two thousand dollar vehicle off-road and risk damaging it now to prove that you can do it Mercedes built their own mountain at the convention center because they got suckers paying one hundred twenty two thousand dollars for these so they have lots of extra cash so they can build a mountain and show you that it is absolutely badass off-road next up Silverado all new for 2017 what are you saying it looks just like a truck in the front but truck in the front party in the rear. Let's take a look around the back side of this baby and find out what's in store for you, the new Silverado owner. So up front, it's your regular uh, comfortable accommodations, but in the back they put uh, compartments on the rails on the side. They've got a secret compartment down in the back, a thing you can pop up and a bed cover and all kinds of shenanigans going on there. I don't know if you can actually fit a motorcycle in the back anymore because they've got so much stuff going on there, but looks like you've turned it into the igloo ice chest and I like it. And then if you want a smaller Chevy with a simple bed that doesn't have a lot of complex uh, Tetris stuff going on in it, the Colorado is the smaller Chevy truck, though it is giant. Like, nobody makes a true small truck anymore. This is a pretty damn big truck, even though it's a small truck. This is a Z71 Colorado. It looks like a lot of fun. Probably tears up the trails off-road, so that's it. Those are the trucks I saw at the auto show that caught my eye 2017.